Don't trust Jews, they run the media and want your money. Okay, thanks in flames 200. Frosty Cupcake, Karyuk. Wait, what are these new colors? Are there new colors? Oh, Wreckful. Wait, is it just because I haven't been on the Twitch in a while, or is this a new name color you can have as your name? Because I haven't seen that. Wait, yellow? Can you have yellow before? Wait, what's going on? Tea time with Byron. <laughs> Am I confused? Wait, I haven't seen that color either. Oh, there's so many colors, dude. Everyone's spamming question my brain surgery went wrong. <laughs> you guys are so excited. I like this. Man. Show old bald spot. Um, well, oh, wreckful. it's going to be a few months before the, the hair really is supposed tall. to grow in, so these are uh, not the results yet, you know? You guys want to see? You guys want to see what we have so far? We have a little tiny bit of hair up there. It's still pretty bald. But it's supposed to all fall out one time and then, like, come back or something. Yeah. Scam. Oh shit! <laughs> some pog jams and some what faces. What's this tweet? What the fuck? Wait, this is a nice tweet, dude. That was the Aurelian Lamar I did for charity. <laughs> Yo, bitches is actually the word for a female dog. Like, holy shit! Do I regret going? I don't regret going. At the same time, um. Most of the experiences I had are just experiences Tea time with Byron. Most of the experiences I had I've had before, but I guess it's nice to have a break. The only real new experience that I had was Andy took me to this really cool restaurant where they serve you slow as fuck, which actually makes it a fun, more fun hey, experience. Can you Usually I just you, you, oh, you know stuff my face until I'm completely Miller. full. You have it at 100. Okay. That peach booty IRL was a new experience. Gashagasm. That's true. Yeah. When I first saw Peach, I was like, whoa. This is oh, a wreckful. human. Like, you know, I've seen Peach it in pictures, but when tall. you see it in, her in real life, it's it's pretty crazy how how pretty she is, you know? It's weird. The Probably had the opposite thought tall. about me, you know? Fucking A. The kids are almost Okay, tall. Peach and I did not have sex. I'm sorry. I know you all want to know. That's what we did it. I'm so sorry. Tea time with Byron. It's gonna be feels bad man's in the chat. <laughs> Look at all those feels bad man's, dude. <laughs> Everyone's so sad. Hell yeah. That feel when you are designated as a hate symbol by the feels bad men. I know. I can't believe you guys are. That's all. You guys are spamming hate symbols in chat. Oh, wreckful. Why even live tall. anymore? I remember. I just remembered something when I was really oh, little. Wreckful. I used to draw people like the this kids are almost home they used to draw little people like this when i was in first grade and you know but i'd try really hard uh so oh, sometimes they'd full. have they'd actually have the shirts and pants and stuff home. i don't remember how i did it kind of like this uh anyway i drew a lot of little people like this and then there'd be like a son and then um i went to my teacher and i always show her my drawing try to turn it in and she'd tell me to draw the people bigger. Oh, wreckful. So I got angry that she didn't like the way I was drawing my people because I want to draw my people however I fucking want to draw my people, right? And then I was pissed. So I took... I, I just went to the pa piece of paper and I went oh, like wreckful. this. The kids are almost home. And then it was just the whole piece of paper was just like that with marker. Like looked real ugly, you know? And, and I went up. And I, I purposely like tried to make it look dumb too. And then I, and then there was the sun, and you know, whatever. And I went up and I turned that in. And she was like, oh, this is much better. And I, then I was fucking mad, dude. I wanted her to say it was worse. Kids are almost home. Maybe my big guy actually was the nicest guy. Because now you could see his eyes and stuff. You know, you could really get a feel for who he was. Oh, there's some grass, dog. Dude, I should always use these brushes. Dude, I just realized by writing CX, you can kind of make a fish. CX. Wait, CX is a oh, fish! The oh, Ice Poseidon should make- Yo, Ice, if you live through the hurricane, make a shirt that's CX and it's a dumb fish. Oh, wreckful. Whoa. The kids are almost home. There's, there's scary fish under here. And then they're gonna- they're gonna come up and kill my homies. Okay. Anyway. Um... I fucking- I fucking land in San Diego, and I'm all alone. I get off the plane, and I step outside, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. 
And I noticed some hot girl who was in the Austin airport also uh, was getting out. And I didn't even notice she was on my plane the whole time, but then I realized, you know, she's from Austin or, or from San Diego or something. But, you know, probably from Austin. I don't know. But then I, I didn't have, I've almost talked to her, but I was like, eh, I'm going to talk to someone. Eh, whatever. Didn't have the balls because I never do. And then um, I tried to get an Uber, but um, it's not working. It's like forever doing the swirly ball of death. I'm trying to get an Uber at San Diego airport. Swirly ball of death. I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, and then 20 minutes I'm walking around trying to figure out what the fuck the Uber's not working. The app. And then I see some other guy trying to get on Uber. His isn't working either, so I figured Uber was down. And it was. Uber was down. So then I, I, I finally found some guard dude, and I asked him how to get to the taxis, and then there was a long walk over a bridge, whatever. I get in a fucking taxi, and I go to where Peach's Airbnb is, because she was she texted me where she was. And it's an Airbnb that Luna actually originally ordered, but then Peach ended up using it, because uh, you know, Peach and Luna were going to share it, but Luna didn't come. And then um, that's going to be relevant later. And then um, I get to the Airbnb, and I'm waiting for a few minutes, and she comes down. Uh, it, it's actually kind of interesting how it was. Oh, I can draw it. Okay, so forget the grass. So there was this little tiny door like this. And on this side, there was a bar. Bar. And on this side, there was a restaurant. And then there's this Airbnb here in the middle. I mean, there's this place, this little tiny door that leads, you, you get go up, up, up into these steps and then there's like some apartment that we were renting, okay? Wow, beautiful drawing, holy shit, I can't believe it. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm in the street right here, waiting by this little tiny door and these some happy people here at the bar, you know, sitting out front. And then, uh, God, I'm so bad at drawing, holy shit. Um, <laughs> fuck, I wish I could draw, man. Um, okay, everyone stop. Y'all making fun of my drawing. Okay, so then I go up. Peach, Peach comes down here. Peach comes down here. And I'm, um, really, as soon as I see her, I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. You know, seeing her in real life, it was just, I, maybe, I think she kind of expressed a similar thought in, in back at me, but, you know, I don't know. I, I really, it, it felt crazy, because she was, like, super hot, you know? And... She looked just as hot in real life. Maybe even hotter. I don't know. And then, um... God, is that supposed to be her? I don't know. I can't, I can't draw. So, uh... She's like... Uh, she hugs me like, hello. And then we accidentally get locked out of this shitty little door. We're locked out. Because it closed behind her. So we spaced out. So we're waiting out here by, by this bar. And this restaurant. For like five minutes for one of her other friends to come down. But they weren't looking at their phones. And we're just talking about some random shit. I don't know. I don't even remember. And then finally, like, one of her friends comes down, and, uh, she was, she had, uh, there was another girl there, named Katie, and then there were two dudes, two Asian guys, and, um, one of the Asian, man, I don't know if I should go into everyone's names, because maybe personal information, I don't know, okay, I won't go into everyone's names and shit, unless, I don't know if they would want their names to be known, you know, um, Okay, <laughs> everyone's spamming Ming Ri. Okay, so I, I, we finally one, one, one of the Asian guys. I think I think one of the Asian guys or or Katie comes and opens the door. I don't I don't remember. I, I was spaced out. I was just like kind of overwhelmed at the moment, like thinking about kind of think about what I'm what I'm saying and whether I'm interesting and shit like that, you know. And then um, I, I we would finally go up to the fucking room, and then I come in, and it's kind of like it's kind of like this. There's like one of those. God, how do you... I wish I could draw. It'd be so helpful if I could draw. It'd be crazy. Um, so I come up to the room. Oh, here. This pencil's better. There's an island thing at the kitchen. And everyone... And, like, little stool things. And, like, everyone's, like, sitting around this thing drinking, right? And then there's, like, a table over here and then a couch. And th this is where I came in right here, okay? So I'm, I come in. And then uh, they're asking me if I want to drink. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, I'm ready to get completely plastered and just go with it, you know? So I have four shots right away. Like, within a, a two-minute period. Fucking immediately get sloshed. And that's when I... Right after I drink the, the four shots. And we, we, we decide to go walk around in the street. And that's when I turn on the periscope. The first periscope. And I, I'm, I'm already sloshed. 
like, yeah, let's go. And it's, let's I'm, I'm having a lot of fun at this point. Because I'm just like, hey, something exciting might happen. I can't even hear what the fuck I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. Let's fast forward. They got me and at the end, we get to go to a bar. We're like in a bar. It's, wow, this is really shit quality. Oh my okay. god. Okay, this video fucking sucks. Oh, wow, you guys shit. watch this crap? Oh, you suck. Okay, anyway. Um, I, th I thought that it'd actually be visible. So, um... Okay. Basically, you know, everything's fun when you're wasted. And I was having a blast. We finally got to this bar. And I was like... You know, dancing, and I think that I can dance when I'm drunk, but I don't actually know if it's true. I think probably I can't because I saw Andy post a video of me trying to dance, and it didn't look like I'm that pro. You know? But when, I, when I'm drunk, I feel like I'm owning. I probably shouldn't watch this. I haven't actually watched it yet. But I, now that I'm explaining to you guys about me dancing, I kind of want to watch it. Let's see where he posted it. Okay, there. Oh, I got moves. Oh, God. I'm owning, see? Okay, wait, wait, anyway. When I'm drunk, I don't give a fuck. I just got, I, I actually cringed and I couldn't keep watching. But, as long as I'm confident, like, it's working, you know? <laughs> it's working! <laughs> everyone's, everyone's, <laughs> as long as I'm confident, it's fine. So, don't, don't make me unconfident. But, <laughs> shit. It's not really hard to watch yourself in those situations, you know? So, um, anyway, I was dancing. And I was, I was like dancing with Peach and we're having fun and stuff and I I, I think a couple times she like kind of like danced with her like her butt on me and it was it was hot but I, I was really sh sh wasted so I don't remember exactly like details or anything like you know just normal like you know white dancing stuff you know whatever and then the fucking fucking viewer from my stream shows up to the bar maybe he saw my periscope and figured out where I was and it was the fucking guy I banned a long time ago because he cheated. He used a program to cheat against me in chess and try to bet a bunch of money on it. And then he was the guy who had the Lambo and he showed a picture of himself with the Lambo. And I was like, why are you trying to steal money from me cheating in chess if you have a Lambo? I don't know. I hated this guy. But then, like, when I was drunk in real life, I was like, eh, you know, this guy's all right. Whatever. Like, <laughs> let's go, Doc. And then, um... We, we, were, we were chilling, I guess, and then he was, you know, he was trying to be a little flashy. He told me he had, like, some nice car outside. Maybe he just, like, rents nice cars and, like, shows them off. I don't know. And, uh, he had, like, a McLaren or something outside. But I, I didn't even, I didn't even, like, I don't know. I was just, like, whatever. And then we were drinking, and, um, uh, I, the last thing I remember, I was trying to get the wait, uh, bartender to uh, come back with us to Peach's place. And, you know, I had Peach with me, so I figured, like, wow, I have a girl that's actually hotter than you with me. Like, something, you know, something cool must be going on wherever I'm going, right? You know? Uh, so I, I thought that it, you know, and Peach, Peach thought that bartender girl was really hot, too. So we were kind of, like, double macking on her. And then she added Peach on, like, Instagram or something. They were going to DM later, but the bartender girl said she couldn't come till 4 a.m. So we were like, okay, we'll tell you at 4 a.m. You know, and she was like really hot and like her boobs were out and stuff because she's, they dress really skimpy and whatever. So we were like, okay, she's going to come at 4 a.m. That's the last thing I remember. I remember like walking out of the bar at 2 a.m. But I don't remember how we like actually getting home or anything to her place. And then I asked everyone else if they remembered, everyone else we were with. No one remembered what the like the walk home. We were all exact, I guess, drunk enough to not remember what the fuck happened, which is really weird. Exactly at that moment, I stopped remembering stuff. And I woke up at her place on the floor, on a wooden floor, right in the entryway. Here's the entryway. I woke up right, right. I was, I, I fell asleep right here. Okay, no blanket, nothing. I just fell asleep right there, and. uh... <laughs> It was like 8 a.m. and I, I don't know. Everyone thinks I got roofied. <laughs> no, but it, that's, I didn't have any pain any, or anywhere or anything. Like, I don't know, my butthole was fine. <laughs> but I woke up right there. That was the first night. And then I was like, wow, that was a really good night. I don't know what the fuck happened at the end, but it was fun. And I asked everyone if they remember what happened. No one remembered. Okay, and, and I actually believed them, you know. Okay. So then, in the morning was boring. It's like 8 a.m., and we're all taking turns like, or maybe nine at this point. And we're all taking turns just like showering with the showers over here somewhere. 
people are showering one at a time, taking forever, whatever. I finally get in the shower. There's no soap somehow. I don't know how everyone showered with no soap. I'm chilling, fucking showering with no soap, chilling, whatever. Get out of there. Realize I forgot to bring deodorant. Some guy, one of the Asian guys has deodorant. Everyone's dance gaming. Nobody was, it was brand new. He had like a deodorant in the Twitch con. Okay, in the baggie, the goodie bag you get from Twitch con, there was a deodorant. Which I don't know what they're trying to say. Like, are they trying to say everyone's stinky there? But they give every single person a deodorant. And he hadn't used this deodorant. It was brand new. So, yeah. Anyway. Finally, uh, everyone has showered. And then I'm just waiting for Peach and Katie to do their hair. And uh, there's, there's like a bed here. I'm just lying on the bed. And there's like a mirror here. God, these this drawing is so bad. And I'm just, I'm just waiting for everyone to do their hair. So, uh, which is taking forever, by the way. Uh, we finally goddamn leave after they do their hair and we're all walking to the event and it feels cool You know, you know, you know that cool feeling you get when you're walking with some hot girls You feel like you're more important than you than you really are. So I, I was feeling like that, you know, and then um, Walk in bumping into some random people with twitch stuff, you know, because they just are purple and you know They're just they're all wearing purple and got a purple bag and you know Talk to some people whatever uh, get to the event, go inside, and that's when I met two rent two plebs, just two plebs from the stream, and I know the real names. One was Josh, and one was Art Artin, Artin like this, and then um, they were cool. Uh, they were really tall, way taller than I was. So Twitch plebs will all be drawn in purple. They were like one of them was like I guess six three, and the other one was like six four. They were fucking huge, okay. <laughs> Here's me chilling, and then um, I'm black, and then I'm just I'm I'm t talking to these plebs. And I'm just like trying to get a feeling of what they, what their experience is watching the stream, you know, and uh, they they've been watching forever, like since WoW days, and you know they they fucking uh, they're just they don't even talk in the chat. I told you guys they don't even talk in the chat. And I was like maybe there are a lot of plebs like these who watch forever and watch all the time, don't even talk in the chat. And I, I don't think. 6'3 is huge and a fax. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Compared to fuck. Okay. You should have seen Tyler 1. I saw him. He was like this. Anyway. um, He has the coolest blue eyes. Or like, I don't know if they're blue or bluish green. They're the coolest piercing eyes I've ever seen though. You can see Tyler 1 from a mile away. The eyes are all, the, the, so, I'm, I'm kind of cap of pride for, for his eyes. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> Fucking hey, dude. Wait, is it a mode only? Oh no, you guys are just spamming cup of pride so hard. Okay. So I'm hanging out with these plebs all day, and I don't really know what to do at the event. I, I'm just every time I'm walking around, I'm getting approached by by someone. They want to talk, and uh, you know, not not to. It's not actually that many people. Like maybe 20 people overall, 30 people. You know, but you know, you end up 30 people talking to 30 people is a lot of talking, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm talking to a bunch of people, just trying to, you know, some of them were cool. Some of them didn't really want to shake their hand because it looked like they fucking probably picked their nose and stuff. So I, I, I was, you know, I mixed, mixed experience, but I, I shook everyone's hand and then, you know, I, I did it anyway. Fucking A. And then, um, then I bump into Andy. I bump into Andy and uh, then we chilling, right? And he always makes me happy. So we, we were chilling. And, uh, <laughs> but, but we kept getting separated because a lot of, a lot of people wanted to talk to him and take pictures of them and, and uh, all that shit too. Right. Uh, so, so that, that, that it was kind of hard. It felt hard to hang out with people and, and really, um, get normal conversations going. But we were, I was like, yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll eventually hang out later. We'll go eat or sit in a hotel or something. Right. This is all on Saturday, by the way, cause I skipped Friday. I didn't get there Friday, Saturday. Okay. So. Finally, I um, I go, at some point I find Kelly, but I don't know when, and then we're all hanging out, man, all right, okay, we all go to this, there's this like outdoor beer garden place, which is just, beer garden just means like, there are tables outside and beer, I don't know, they called it a garden, and there's no plants or flowers or anything, so there's this out, outdoor beer garden, and we're just sitting and waiting in line, well, first we're waiting in line forever for a beer, and it's Bud Light, XD, Jesus Christ, you know, and it's just fucking Bud Light, and we're all, but finally we're all sitting and drinking our shitty beers, 
and trying to have a good time and it was a decent time and then but then it became a really good time because i noticed that there was this table there was a table with a fucking tv on it and an n64 fucking mario kart 64 and I, I i see this and i get excited and there are four controllers and we fucking play so it was like me kelly peach and katie i think me and three grills playing playing n64 and there's probably a picture of this somewhere because I, I someone took a picture of me but um i was having a blast right here this this was the highlight of my day but we for, then it's quickly taken away from me it's I, I beat everyone of course you know anyway but then it's quickly taken away from me because some security guard comes by and says sorry we're kicking everyone out of this area and it was like the, the special like I don't know maybe I should have tried to convince him that I'm, I'm important somehow but I feel awkward doing that you know yeah, actually his face should be angry and he kicked us out of the fucking like this closed off VIP area in the in the beer garden with the N64 kicked us out and then I'm sad everyone else is fine though because they want to mingle but you know I, I wanted to play this Mario Kart uh, it, it sucked fucking hey so then we go back inside and it's just more of the same you know more of just hey what's up what's going on and, and some people some of the people were cool but you know it's a lot of small talk so it's, it's hard for me to really get to know anyone except the two plebs that i hung out with the entire day the only two plebs i really got to know um i tried to actually walk around the event a little and this i think i periscoped around this time we were all maybe this was the day after that i don't know at some point, everyone was sitting on the floor, and we were just, and, and I made a little a happy circle of us sitting on the floor, and we just talk, decided to talk. And I was like, you know what, we should actually walk around the event. So we went inside, and you know, there's not actually anything to do in there. There are like some indie games that you're going to be able to play on Steam in a, in a week anyway for $5. So, like, and people are waiting in line for them. I'm like, eh, fuck this shit, right? Rather play Mario Kart N64. And then there was this one, like, skateboarding thing that was kind of cool. You guys saw me do, but uh, I sucked at it, and Swifty beat me up. Swifty told me what's up. And um, then there were some people streaming. There were some people in booths. They were like soundproof booth, booths, like five of them. Four, actually, I think. And the people were just streaming in there. And I was like, damn, it's kind of boring. You're just in a soundproof booth streaming. What's the point of coming to the event? You can just do it at home anyway. You know, I don't know. It's, it seemed weird. It seemed weird to me. Because, I mean, just why come to the event? I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really get it. But maybe if you're only going to stream for a little while, then it's not bad. I guess if you just stream, stream for a little while. Or if they had friends with them, I would understand. But they were alone. Feels bad, man. In these booths streaming like this. Can't even hear any of the other plebs on the outside, you know. Uh, finally, everyone... Okay, skip all the stuff that actually happened in the event. The event itself is whatever. You're just trying to hang out with people, right? Then, uh, finally, uh, we're leaving the event, and I get... I get Destiny messages me and he's like at some hotel just chilling and I, I wanted to, I wanted to meet him so I actually go it's just me and the plebs I don't know Peach Peach and um, Kelly and every they all went to like maybe go like change and then eat dinner or something and then I I actually went with the plebs to go meet Destiny so here's me and the plebs they're taller than me though okay so their heads are actually up there and me and the plebs. And I go meet Destiny. Destiny was shorter than me. It was like this. And he's sitting in a hotel lobby. And he was streaming. So some of you guys probably saw that. We talked about some funny shit. We went to eat together. And the whole thing is, every single time I'm hanging out with anyone, I have this annoying feeling like, oh, maybe I'm in, like, I really wanted to hang out with Destiny the whole time. So when I wasn't hanging out with Destiny, I was like, oh, I want to hang out with Destiny. See what he's doing because he's funny, right? And then when I'm hanging out with Destiny, I, I'm feeling like, oh, shit. Like, I'm, I, don't know, I wonder where Peach is at. Like, I'm missing out on something over there, you know? So like. No matter what I was doing, I always felt like I was missing out. And it was fucking... It was fucking bothering me, man. But I tried to just chill. I tried to just chill. I tried my best. So we all went to dinner. And we were probably there for like two and a half hours. Because it took fucking forever to get the food. And we were just talking about funny shit. And Destiny's viewers... Destiny had a bunch of like interesting intellectual viewers. Like one of them worked at SpaceX. And then there were two programmers. And, and one, one lawyer. And we were all talking. And I don't know. They... they uh, they were fun to talk to. They were fun to talk to. Um, saw a lot of you guys probably cringe face, but let me click some of these imagers. Oh my god, that's a really ugly picture of me. What the fuck? Where did you guys get this? 
That's what I actually look like, though. <laughs> that's, like, that's a very accurate... That's a very accurate picture of me, you know? Uh, oh, wait. What's this clip? Wreckful asked Twilight about cake. Weird questions. Or should I got it? No, there's just, like... There were a bunch of Wreckful fans. I don't want to talk shit about people, because now I'm going to feel like a big asshole. But, like, there were... Um, there were a bunch of Wreckful fans that came with us. A bunch. There were, like, maybe five or six at the table. And they were all trying to give him advice on, like, personal relationship stuff. And a lot of shit... A lot of the shit they were saying was, like, really fucking... Really fucking stupid. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. They were okay, so Luna Whoa, eleven eleven. Pogchamp. Okay, so I had this really awkward situation where Luna kept spam texting me angry that I was staying at the Airbnb with SD Peach. And she was saying the Airbnb was only supposed to be for you know this many people and then if he's gonna find out there were more people and he's gonna be mad because i assured him there would only be this many people and it's not nice to not respect people's property and you know whatever and maybe he's gonna charge me a bunch of money and i don't have any money to pay for this shit and then luna spam texted me this shit right and i'm just like and uh this was happening actually while i was with destiny eating dinner and i was just like what the fuck this is ridiculous and i just tell her i tell her look if he charges you anything extra or gets mad at you in some way i'll pay for it Okay, and then she keeps spam texting me, you know, like obviously wasn't really about the fucking Airbnb, you know, but she, she, she'll pretend it was whatever. It, it was fucking weird. Um, uh, sorry, Luna, you're going to like yell at me about this later. God damn. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so then uh, after the whole Destiny dinner and stuff, I, uh, I ended up talking to them for a long time and then I missed most of the Twitch party. So the Twitch party was Saturday night with Steve Aoki and all that shit. By the time I got to the Twitch party after talking to all Destiny and friends, uh, Destiny and I wasn't going to the party, then I, uh, I had already missed everything. So Steve Aoki was over, I got there, and uh, it was like, everyone was leaving, actually. There were a few people staying, and like, Darude was the last person on, and he, he wasn't actually playing Sandstorm though, so he was just like playing random shit, and he was like, oh man, you know, it's really hard to uh, go up here after Steve Aoki, uh, you know, saying lame shit like that, and I was like, damn, I could've be ripping this shit, I'd just be on plug. I could've been on fucking, cl uh, Club Penguin just going crazy, like, fucking getting all excited and stuff, and he was just, like, not being excited, you know? Um, so that sucked, and I couldn't get in the VIP section of the Twitch party, which is, like, where, the streamer section, where everyone, everyone was in there, like, so, uh, Celeste was in there and shit, and, um, I... <laughs> I, I, I knew I couldn't get in there because before I even went to the event, they told me that it's completely full and they're not going to be able to get me in. So I'm just like sitting outside of this, like, there's like this, this fancy like little thing that blocks off the plebs. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting outside of this thing. I, I'm over here, you know, and then like Celeste is like partying in here with, you know, having a blast and stuff. And then um, every everyone everyone's in there. Um, so what's happening after that? I'm just like. I mean, the party's almost over anyway, so I was like, eh, it's not a big deal. You know, uh, Peach is in there, and but we're like, Peach and I are like hanging out on the border to where I couldn't get in. We're just talking. Uh, like, I'm, I'm on the fence where that's blocking me from going into the, the VIP section of the Twitch party. And we're just hanging out on the fence over there. So we were just like, talk, like we were just talk there for like 20 minutes and drink one drink or something, and it was whatever. Eventually, the Twitch party ends and we leave, and then... Kelly is at the bottom of the steps when we're leaving the Twitch party, waiting for me, which I thought was really cute. And then we all hung out and went to a hotel room. We went to Kelly's hotel room. Uh, me, Kelly, Peach, and some other people. And we met, I told Andy to come, so Andy came. And then we finally had a nice relaxed time, just all sitting in a hotel room talking. And this was one of my favorite times of the event. Just like, there's this one fucking big bed, and there are some chairs. And there's like a little radio here, and Andy, Andy's sitting here DJing on the radio. And then I would have DJed in Club Penguin, but it didn't work on my phone. And, uh, you know, we're all just hanging out and drinking, and we're talking for a few hours. And then we got we got one of our plebs over here. I remember, I remember Josh, the, the pleb Josh was sitting over here. So, you know, I don't, I don't actually remember any specific conversations. I just remember that... I had moments in this hotel room where I was I was feeling clarity. I was like, this is what life is all about, hanging out with friends and drinking. You know, every single time you get drunk, I, I, you have the same thought, or at least I do. This is what it's about, bro. You know? And then um, after, like, I was so, when I started to sober up, I was like, eh, okay, okay, you know. So I, I did sleep. I slept in Kelly's hotel room there, 
But also, we didn't have sex or anything. And you guys are always going to think I had sex with everyone. But I'm not actually that cool, you know? So, I slept in a hotel room. We didn't have sex in a hotel room. Okay? So, because I was like, I don't want to sleep on the floor at Peach's place. I'm not wasted this time, you know? And there wasn't like, okay. So, I, I slept there. Then, anyway. <laughs> uh, more accurate is like this, right? But then, okay. Anyway. <laughs> next day. Um, I wake up. And, um... Uh, all my stuff is at Peach's place, so then I go, I, I I I go start walking there to go shower and everything, and I'm just walking and and um, you know it's a really nice day out. It's a really nice day. It's like the sky's like this. Okay, not exactly like that. But, you know the sky's pretty, and um, they're, they're, like the sun's out. You know, here he is. Uh, there he is, and he's happy and stuff. And then uh, I'm just I'm just walking along uh, on the street, and I see like a frozen yogurt place. There's me. I see a frozen yogurt place. So I get some frozen yogurt and put some blueberries in that shit. You know what I'm saying? And some raspberries. And then we're chilling hard. I'm chilling real hard at this moment, actually. It looks like kind of a jizzy, but okay. Frozen yogurt's good. Just trust. And then I, I walk over to, to Peach's place where my stuff is and then uh you know she asked me if i had sex with kelly and i told her i didn't because i actually didn't and then um well she didn't say sex she said oh so what happened you know you know you know like that and then um we actually at the sushi place we had tequila shots right tequila yeah and we did have tequila i think someone got sake but we actually had like tequila shots at the sushi place and then like i had just a sapporo you know one of those japanese beers and um and i ate a lot of sushi like you know, I ordered like 20 pieces of fucking tuna and salmon sashimi, and I, I, I was feeling good. So uh, after after my frozen yogurt and my sushi, then uh, we head to the event. So we walk to the event again, and when we finally get in there, it's kind of more of the same. Like a lot of people saying hi and a lot of small talk. And um, well, I, I met some guy who works at Teespring, and he was actually really cool. And he was like really laid back, and we fucking like... He was at the beer garden, and we, like, played some game called Cornhole that I'd never played before. I, I googled it. I didn't want something bad to come up. Anyway, it looks like this. <laughs> okay. We, you try to throw these in the hole. So we, we were playing this game and drinking and stuff, and that was kind of fun. And my plebs met him, too, and he, he was kind of interesting. He, he was all right. Everyone's spamming gachi chasm. <laughs> okay. Every day I'm just drinking so much, it's, like, kind of a blur. Anyway, I take this... <laughs> I take this picture with Swifty, and like he has this girl with him, and she wants us to hold her up. And Swifty gets hot girls with him all the time. I don't know if they're like together or anything, but she had a tongue ring. I don't know if you can see the tongue ring. She's the girl we're holding up. I'm on the left, looking creepy. I, I'm I'm drunk though. Oh, I'm drunk all day, every day. Okay. The kids are oh shit. Home. The sub thing's on on the screen. How did you know? How did that guy know that it would be on on the screen? That's so weird. Okay. Anyway. Um. <laughs> that guy snuck in a good stuff. <laughs> Dirty peaches. Um, okay, so tongue ring equals blowjob machine. Dude, tongue rings are really hot, but I think that like it kind of, they kind of fell out of style or something. But I think they're hot. I think they're very hot.